Good day to you. Welcome to Kitede Academy. In today's lesson, we will look at concatenation in Java. Concatenation. What is concatenation? Concatenation simply means a combination of two or more strings into one. It is worthy to note that concatenation is not just limited to strings. It spans over a few other data types like int, long, double, etc, etc. Now let's go ahead to see how concatenation works in Java. So first things first, you open up a VS Code. When you open it up, you create a new class. So let's call this class, let's say concatenation. Concatenation.java. Enter. I will go ahead. Public class concatenation. Query base, we say public static void mean string x and we have this. So let's go ahead and create a variable. Let's say string YouTube handle equal to Kitadel Academy. And then let's create another string. So let's say string name equal to let's say welcome to Java programming. Sorry. So then let's wear semicolon. And then now let's go to let's say system dot out dot print line so let's say youtube handle and put our semicolon now if we try to print this okay let's just go ahead and print it okay so let's go to terminal new terminal now let's compile the code so we say java conquer simulation to java Um, okay, we made a mistake here. Here is YouTube handle D. Okay, so we made a mistake there. Here is supposed to be D. Um, L is there. I didn't notice it. Sorry, I didn't notice it. Handle D L E. Yeah, now it's okay. So let's save this and then we we'll compile it. Sorry, I didn't notice it. Now it it has been successfully compiled. So we say Java to run it. We say Java con concatenation so you see Kitadel Academy get displayed on the console what if we want to display this other string let's say we want to display this other string of text here um, that means we have to come and say it something like system dot out dot print line um, name now we have to display then we say save now let's you compile the code now let's run it so you see Kitada Academy get displayed and welcome to Java programming also get displayed. But we have two different lines of code here. We did system the other print for this, and then we also did system the other print for this. Now, what if we can combine these two steps into one? Okay, so let's do away with this. Alright, now let's come here. You can decide to come to this YouTube handle and then use the concatenation operator okay so you can decide to add plus here okay so you say plus and then um name for instance okay well let me do something like this let me remove this okay let me remove this let me let me remove this variable all right now let's come to this place now um put my double quotes okay inside within my double quotes we we'll say Kitadel Academy, okay? And then now, outside the double quotes, we use the concatenation operator, okay? So you put plus, and then let's use, let's use this variable we created here. So let's use the variable name, okay? Now, what we successfully done here is that after 
this Kitada Academy gets displayed on the console. This name, um, this variable name that has this set of string will also get displayed on the console. So instead of having redundant lines of code, you can see we have combined these two steps, in the two steps we earlier did into one. Okay, now let's save this and see how it's going to be displayed on the console. Okay, let's recompile this and then let's run this. You see, it says Kitadel Academy. Welcome to Java programming. Now, okay, let me just add something like this is Kitadel Academy. Now, I know you may be wondering what if you want to display this welcome to Java programming on another line? Well, you can still do that without having to use another system or other print line. How do you go about it? You use the escape sequence, you use the new line escape sequence. So, take for instance here, I can decide to use the backslash and then N. Now, that's a new line escape sequence. Now, save this and then let's run this. Let's recompile it. Now, let's run it. So, you see, this is Kitada Academy. Welcome to Java programming. They all get displayed. Welcome to Java programming get displayed on another line. This is how to use the concatenation operator, okay? So, whenever you want to combine two or more strings together, you use the concatenation operator, okay? You can decide to create another variable and still concatenate it behind this one. You can, you can even decide to add another one here. So, I can decide to put something like plus. And then, let me add something like Java... Okay, sorry. Java is fun. Okay, if I decide to add something like this, let me use the new line operator here. So, backslash n, and then I save this now. Now, let's recompile this. Now, let's run this. So, you see, this is Kitada Academy. Welcome to Java programming. Java is fun. It all gets displayed on different lines. You see, the main point is to know how to use the concatenation operator okay that's the main point just know how to use it you can use it to combine strings now like i earlier said it is not just limited to strings it spans over a few other data types like um int for instance so take for instance we have another data type so let's say int int year so let's say int year for instance now let's go ahead and so the year is 2024 now let's um put our semicolon now what if we want to add this um, this number, this integer to this set of strings. What do we do? The same thing. We use the assignment operator. So take for instance, I can come here and then decide to add. Okay, let me do away with this. Just so. Let me just add something here. Let me do away with this. Sorry. So take for instance. Okay. So now we come here. Now I use the the concatenation operator. Now put plus and then I can put year there. Okay. So after putting plus, I put year there. Okay. Now let me just let's save this. Control S. Now let's recompile this. Now let's run this. So you notice this is Kitara Academy. Welcome to Java programming. You notice 2024 get displayed on the console. Okay, what now happens if I want to give space here? Fine, it's very easy. You can decide to add another concatenation operator, okay? So you after this, after this one before here, you add um your double quotes and then give space. Okay, just put one space in your double quotes and then come outside the double quotes and then add another concatenation operator now save this when you save this you go ahead and then recompile this so let's run this so you see this is what it says welcome to java programming and you see there is, there is a space before 2024 so this is how the concatenation operator works so like i said it is not just limited to things so you can decide to let's say take for instance you want to um display something like let's say the radius the sum of of x well, let me say the sum of 2 and 3 is then you give space and then let's put the, the concatenation operator and then let's say answer answer for instance now let's come here and create a variable so let's say int int let's say x equal to 2 and x equal to 2 
and then let's put y okay equal to y equal to 3 okay so let's say int answer equal to x plus y okay so now let's save this Control s and then let's run this let's recompile it first and then let's run this so you notice it says the sum of two and three is five you see we created two variables here we created two integers x and y and then we created a variable called answer where we add these um two variables so the plus um the plus sign it serves two purposes number one it serves as addition and it also serves as the concatenation operator so either ways you know when to use the plus operator and you know when and how to use the concatenation operator okay just when you need to bring two or more things together you use the concatenation operator and then when you need to add numbers for instance you use the plus operator with this i believe you are able to understand how the concatenation operator works in java and when and how to use the concatenation operator and the plus sign okay thank you so much do have a nice day god bless you